how can I use my 401k or IRA to pay for long-term care insurance? Jonah? Yes. Yeah, so our strategic partners at One America, who our LTC consultant, Mike Mazzoni, represents, have some very unique products that allow our members to take a portion of their overall retirement savings. And that can be in the form of a 401k or IRA and reposition that so that it can be used to fund their long-term care policy. And not only that, but also know, as Drew mentioned earlier, have that policy funded by the time they retire in some cases. So Mike, I'm going to turn it over to you if you want to give us a little bit of a uh, tutorial on how your product works. Absolutely. So we have a number of ways to, to customize these solutions, but I do find a lot of people have assets in an old 401k or IRA. And this is money that was saved pre-tax. And at some point, the government forces us to take that money with what's called a required minimum distribution. So at age 72, they actually force you to take that money. Now, I do find that when people have a lot of assets in that old 401k, often it's their CPA that tells them, don't take that money until you have to. But now we're in a very different economic environment. We just passed another stimulus package. We're gonna have to pay for this as will our children. So most of the CPAs I talk to tell me they're expecting taxes to go up over the next 10 to 15 years, probably pretty significantly. So instead of waiting to be forced to take that money with that required minimum distribution, which if you know, you're in your 60s now and you wait till 72, there's a chance you're gonna pay significantly more in taxes. So more CPAs are telling their clients, start taking that old 401k money now, you're gonna have to pay the taxes on it, but you're better off paying taxes now while taxes are low versus waiting to be forced to take that money. Now, there's a couple of moving parts, but very easy to understand. When we talk about using that old 401k money, easiest way to think about it is to visualize an hourglass. Now, all three of my kids can draw better, just pretend that looks like an hourglass. The top of the hourglass is that old 401k or IRA. What we do is we take a piece of that. It's a called a trustee to trustee transfer, so it stays qualified. If you pull out a big chunk, that creates a big taxable event and we want to avoid that. So what we do is we actually take this out over a 10 year period. So we turn that into 10 payments and this is all guaranteed. So we take that single amount, we turn it into 10 guaranteed payments. Each payment comes outside of that qualified money and goes right into a long-term care protection plan. And we have the ability to cover both spouses. So we can actually take one spouse's old 401k and provide protection for both spouses. Now, when we talk about this type of planning, very important to understand, there's only three things that can happen. The first thing and the most likely thing is you live a long life. Most people live a long life. And if they do, at some point they get sick or frail, need some type of care. That's the most likely thing to happen. Now, not everyone lives a long life. Some people just pass away. And the third thing, some people change their minds. So live, die, or quit. Those are the only three outcomes. And in each case with this type of planning, you have a benefit. So we talk about this type of planning, it's really about providing guarantees, flexibility, and control. This is about preserving your ability to choose, to choose the type of care that you receive, and also in the setting where you receive care. So sometimes qualified money, that old 401k is the asset that just makes the most sense to reposition but everyone is different. And that's why it's so important to sit down with an independent advisor from Coastal Credit Union 
to figure out what's most appropriate for you.